Hi folks, good day. Andy here with Pop Yachts. We're checking out a beautifully maintained 1994 compact 35 footer. Length on deck is 3610. Rare cutter rig setup. All lines needed for single handed sailing. Go right back to the cockpit so you don't have to leave the helm. Lots of updates have been done. Pride of ownership definitely shines through. Got a 140 watt solar panel at the back. Nice integrated swim platform at the transom. Beautiful finish with neatly redone teak and all stainless steel hardware. This was a freshwater boat most of its life that was brought down to Florida eight years ago. Winterized annually, shrink wrapped. Really shows nicely. All the decks are solid. It's powered by Westerbeek 30 horsepower diesel, straight inboard. There's a flush kit on it for peace of mind and longevity. Beautiful bowsprit. Anchor windlass, also with remote operation. Nice and wide walking spaces. Got all LED lighting inside and out. Dodger and Bimini looks in good shape. The Stellar has extra material if it is wanting to be replaced. Nice T-shaped cockpit. Autopilot, radar, AIS, GPS, plotter, and depth finder. Brand new Ritchie Compass as well. All your engine controls right here. Motor has just over uh, 1,500 hours on it. Lots of storage outside. Keep all your lines nice and neat. Beautiful interior. Love all the wood finish. Beautiful teak. Always maintained and loved. Nice seating too. Galley to port. Plenty of cooking and prep space. Nice dual deep basin, stainless steel sink. Holds 75 gallons of fresh water, 30 gallons of fuel. And then it has a newly replaced holding tank, which is a uh, Visible from the engine compartment. Charger system. They do have the cushions for this aft berth. It's currently used for storage. You can see the cockpit cushions in there as well. Hanging locker over to this side. A couple of vent windows too, keep everything cool. There is air conditioning on board. Take a quick peek at the engine compartment. Let me get this undone. Like the peek in window. Great visibility when underway. And then you got lots of access back there, too. All right, when motoring, you can do RPMs 2750, cruising at six and a half knots, and it's doing three and a half gallons. I'm sorry three-quarter gallon an hour burn and if you kick it back to five knots engines revving down to 2300 rpm and that's burning only a half gallon an hour really nice professionally done wiring you can see the oil changing system and fuel polishing system aft there Right, continuing forward, I'm a big fan of all the headroom. I'm 6'3", I've got clearance. Could probably do 6'6", six, six and still be comfortable. Got the table drop down. And for additional sleeping space, this flips up. 
see how they utilize the space behind it for entertainment purposes. Table leg latches in. And then this bed over here pulls out so then your entire sleeping area doubles in here. And floor wine cooler area. Beautiful wood, I can't get over it. Dual lounge seats, nice map table. The breaker panels along this wall. All clean wiring. The Icon VHF, it's also got a remote up at the helm and behind the TV and CD stereo system. See your single band radio. Backstay acts as an antenna for it. Also keep in mind the backstay is hydraulic. All the windows look good. I see no leaks or stains anywhere. Wonderful ventilation. Inside the head, separate shower area from the sink space. I think our depth meter's beeping on us, being low tide here. Good, good headroom and hot and cold water. The uh, water heater holds six gallons of it. And another privacy door closes off the captain's quarters. Nice size V berth and good amount of headroom in here. You can see the fold down DVD screen. Got a little seating area. Three dresser drawers, there's storage underneath, and then hanging locker on this side. There's compartment fans that are computer operated. You'll see them throughout. One's blowing under here, another one under there. Keeps everything circulated 